defend yourself against a pack of Skittles and iced tea. Tonight, the anger, frustration, and outrage over the shooting death of an unarmed Florida teen. It drew thousands to rally alongside the Reverend Al Sharpton. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. We begin with a developing story that continues to top national headlines. The fight over Trayvon Martin's death investigation has taken several new turns tonight. First, Governor Rick Scott appointed a new prosecutor to oversee the case. Angela Corey from the Jacksonville area will now take over. Also new today, the Sanford police chief has temporarily stepped down. But the boy's parents say that is not enough. They want the shooter charged. Our Brent Sullivan joins us now from Sanford, where the family, along with Reverend Al Sharpton, and thousands of people gathered to bring Martin's killer to justice. Good evening, Brent. Good evening to you, Sharpton, taking center stage right here at Fort Mellon Park in Sanford. His message meeting applause and renewed efforts from a community still pleading for an arrest. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Their collective voice grows stronger with each chant. Thousands traveling near and far to join in the movement. I traveled all the way from Atlanta. We actually have two buses, you know, two charter buses coming down behind me. All to support the family of slain teen Trayvon Martin. I stand before you today not knowing how I'm walking right now because my heart hurts for my son. Martin wearing a hood when volunteer neighborhood watch captain George Zimmerman thought he looked suspicious walking in his Sanford neighborhood. Zimmerman shot and killed Martin, claiming self-defense. People shouldn't be going around saying, oh, it's fine if I can go shoot someone. That's not right. The case sparking national outrage because Zimmerman remains a free man. This man had absolutely no reason to do what he did. But he said he was serving to protect the neighborhood with the crime watch. Well, you know, I don't know how it makes the neighborhood or the community safer for an unarmed 17-year-old boy with a pack of Skittles and an iced tea to be gunned down 100 feet from his father's front door. This, as Sanford Police Chief Bill Lee announced Thursday, he will step down temporarily. Justice does not serve until we have an arrest. We love our children like you love your Lock them up! And their fight doesn't end here. On Sunday, a peace prayer will take place in Sanford. And then on Monday, a justice march that will end at the city commission, where Trayvon Martin supporters are expected to continue speaking out. Live in Sanford tonight, I'm Brent Solomon, ABC Action News. Thank you.